Chipotle or or the, or the Mexican truck? I'm Mexican truck. Yeah, yeah. Every day, every day of the week. Every day of the week. Every man. every day. Yeah. That uh, that's one of them things where like I wasn't even in the conversation, but you bring that bullshit up. <laughs> you you. You, you know everything. better than that. Come on. That's for everybody. <laughs> I answer uh, on behalf of the United States of America. <laughs> on behalf of the world. Huh? <laughs> the the world. Hey, so what makes the burrito truck like so like infamous, man? What is it about it for no, y'all? No, I think the authenticity of the people. Right. They're doing it right. They're doing so, whatever I- they're doing. It, it's it, look, it's it's the the grill that they've been using for ten years. But I, but I and not cleaning it. That that I got the authentic steak taste on it. I <laughs> will also it. say this: all your Tia and Tio's trucks are not created equal as well. Right, no, for sure. Hey, so we can and, be, and honestly, right. they all don't got the secret. From a Bay Area, a Bay, a, a Bay Area standpoint, where there's, I would like to say, four hundred trucks just in the Bay Area alone. It's a majority of them motherfuckers that ain't good. It's, it's the, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. It's, on Thank the, it's on the 80 20 kind of scale. That's why when you we find the good ones, honest. it but, is such a big deal. It is such a big deal because you know you don't get the good ones all the time. You get that shit. It's, it's always something wrong, bro. I'm telling you. You go there, exactly. It's always something wrong. And then you find the ones that get it right, they always get it right. <laughs> you know they always get it right. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Hey, and and, and what right puts off. a what puts a truck together ain't just the the burrito or Come even on. the taco. It's Preach, down preacher. to the, it's down there. It's down to the or the love from the Tia and Tio. Tia, yeah. Tia who who give you love and don't speak English, but she still nod and smile at you like she knows what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. All of it. Exactly. All of it. You can you go feel poppy. The love. Like you can, you can yeah. feel the love. Change whether you right. can eat like it. as if you was at your Mexican partner house and it was exactly. his mama cooking you. Like, man, that's what it feels like. Back there, that right. you know that that's what's gonna keep me yeah. coming back to your burrito mm-hmm. truck. Yeah, for sure. Because you can man. feel that in the food. Even down, I mean, even down to the salsa. Like if you ain't got a good salsa verde. Cause that's all I eat. <laughs> Down to the gray sauce. <laughs> I, I, hey, I might that. share this meme. I saw it. It said, "It said black people." It say, "It say Mexican truck be like, you want uh, it say you want uh, what is they? Yeah, what is they? I <laughs> said you want hot sauce, mild sauce. It say hey, black people green sauce. <laughs> right, right, <It's> like green." <laughs> Hey, that's really how I be today. I was, on, I was on Walmart.com and we're doing a little shopping thing. And then my wife was like, she's gonna make some enchiladas. I said, she said, get the enchilada sauce. She said, get the get some get some salsa. And she said, get some green sauce. I'm like, what's the green sauce? What you said, Doug? I said, I said, what's the green sauce? <laughs> I didn't know it came in a whole uh, big you... container. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you ain't know you can go buy some of that, boy. Nah, not the, like that. Salsa Verde, man. You better start. Hey, man. Salsa Verde. Really I ain't coming in. Salsa Verde. Salsa Verde. Twang on your salsa Verde. I just, if you said it to you, I'm yeah. too, I, you I never knew the name. I just always knew green sauce. Salsa Verde. Right. Yeah, Salsa Verde. <laughs> Say it with some respect, you know what I'm saying? Put some respect on it. Yeah, he's solid. <laughs> so hey, yeah, but yeah, yeah that's that's my nah, taco truck anal- analogy for to let also, everybody know. I, you know, definitely taco truck over Chipotle and Chipotle. Oh, yeah. You know, it's it, it, but that's an interesting conversation because we just. I would said, even say I would even say taco, taco truck. truck and you're wrong sometimes, but Chipotle got a steady ass recipe that they it's every time you know what you get in. With yeah, Chipotle, you know? which is bullshit. But um, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Chipotle, I wouldn't even put Chipotle in a taqueria. <laughs> like it's a it's a lot of taquerias uh-huh. that want, that don't even fuck with the burrito trucks. Like the burrito trucks is is something else. Like a lot right. of the taquerias don't even have it to where it's like, man, this motherfucker is better than a burrito truck. Oh, like, it's hard to find that too. Okay, maybe I put it like this. Maybe I put it like this. So when I want Chipotle, it isn't because I want authentic Mexican food. 
Okay. <laughs> right. Right. So say say like this. When if you I, watch when it, I if you want to, and I wanna, go eat, it's almost like eating another cuisine. It's like I wanted that taste, that particular. Right. You know what I mean, it's not. It's not like damn. I want a good ass burrito. I want a yeah. good ass I'm trying taco. To get that you American mean? Mexican food, that American Chipotle Mexican. Like food. when you go to Panda Express or so, you feel me? Like, right. Like yeah. you wanted. The, what'd you say, the, Doug? The first time I went to Panda was with you and your dad <laughs> in L.A. He was in Downey. That was the first time I ever went. You was like, you we in the Downey Project? We was in the Downey The boy well, said, okay. you ain't never doing yeah, up on this orange chicken? I'm like, orange chicken? Oh, no, oh, that was, you talking about right across the street from the hotel? Yeah, yeah, you remember. I just remember it that quick, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's been a while ago. That boy, was the first time man. I ever went. What was y'all doing I, in Downey? Huh? What was y'all doing in Downey? On some music shit. Mm. Down there on some music shit. Yeah, I probably got uh down there got paid to be out there. Yep. So we traveled out there, me, Doug, mm. my pops, Manny, and uh man. shit. That sounded like it was lit. We, we was out there, man. That shit was right. Yeah, we I did yeah, I think I was part of the skating ring that right? Yeah, I think that was the skating ring one. Yeah, because we went out there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, that was lit. That was big lit. We did hella shit that, that we wrote a limbo. I think we did. Oh yeah, time. I forgot about the limbo. Yeah, we sure was. <laughs> What about the limbo? <laughs> Man. That limbo was funny, too. <laughs> I remember they interviewed. I, I ain't going to get into it, but yeah. Right, it's coming back. Coming. Yeah, we good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I remember that. That might have been. I don't know if that was my first time at Panda Express. It might have been. Uh, you you I like you was on that orange chicken though. You said you don't know about the orange chicken dub. I'm like orange chicken. Okay, well that wasn't my first time. Yeah. <laughs> I was a virgin. And that, so, never... so that's one thing I would say. Like I prefer, I prefer, uh, you know, authentic Chinese food at seven days of the week. But he lamb, he lamb Chinese food. But like, like I said, sometimes. You want to taste for a specific, you Look, know what I'm saying? So they mastered the horse chicken. They yeah. ain't gonna lie to you. you know I, I, <laughs> ten times out of ten, I'm going to the to chefs or Asia Delight. But exactly. if I exactly. want honey want that shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Honey exactly. want shrimp, I'm gonna have that's to go to Panda Express. That's what because I was honestly, I was gonna say they the rice, chicken, they rice and they honey want that shrimp, and we to the house, baby. Right, right. <laughs> And they do that honey want that shrimp right. That shit hella good. They do, they do. They give you six, six, six shrimp, maybe, but yeah, I'll be wishing they I'll be wishing. I'll be like every time I'll be like, you can put a little more on there, it's all good. And they'd be like, right, they be like, no, no, you know, stop playing with me. You know when you gotta go to any food spot, right? You gotta go right when they're about to close. That's when they're giving away the food. Nah. They got, they count the shrimp. Boy had an eye patch on. He looked his eye patch, black eye and shit. He like, they count the shrimp. I can't give out the shrimp. <laughs> I can't give them away, man. They come got on, come on. Of each shrimp. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Express is back there. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna count the shrimp, boy, for every last shrimp. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, you know, so, yeah, for sure. Um, Authentic Mexican food and authentic Chinese food over Panda Express and over Chipotle, but there are exceptions. Right. Yeah. I would say Which, like I, I would say problem. like I like I like honey wanna shrimp enough to where I would say I can go without Panda Express because you know I love that shit. That shit too good for me just to go without it. Man, but right. I, I fuck with the authentic shit for sure. But I would say I would say so if you're gonna get the honey walnut shrimp, which their honey walnut shrimp tastes pretty. I've had a lot of authentic, authentic sit-down Chinese restaurants. Their honey walnut shrimp tastes pretty, you know, authentic. And now, if you're gonna me... get that, and you're gonna get the orange chicken, which, like I said, they kind of mastered that. Right. I mean, you kind of authentic at an right. inauthentic. Chinese, right. I mean, it's fried rice after that, and I mean, you can't, I mean, you can't go wrong they, with that. So they got, got an authentic got, meal got at an inauthentic joint. Chinese restaurant, right? They got, yeah, they got a seasonal joint. It's a uh, honey sesame ticket press. 
What'd honey you say? sesame chicken. Honey sesame chicken breast. That, that motherfucker crazy? is hella good, boy. I think I might have had that one or two times. I think I might have yeah, had that you, one. You, if you had it, you would know you had it. I, I think I did. I ain't never even touched it. 